This is the future. It's like Archon Shard giveaway today. If you log into Warframe, you will not only have two Archon Shards but five of them in one go. This is just a part of the rewards we will be getting this month as Digital Extreme's quest to conquer cancer campaign became a huge success. Before anything else, I would like to thank all the squad members who participated in spreading the news about the campaign. You all know who you are, and I thank you for helping out in spreading the words, or even donating to the charity event. Thank you so much. And now, we get all the rewards in game. Aside from the Archon Shard, we get from the Archon Hunt and Cull mission, Digital Extremes just rewarded us with three more Archon Shards. If you log in right now, then you will receive one Crimson, one Azure, and one Amber Archon Shard. By the way, I got lucky again on this week's Archon Hunt mission, and got a Tau Forged version of the Red Shard. What does this mean? It means I'm almost complete with my Red Crit Mesa build. Just one more slot to fill with a red shard, and I will be able to see constant red crit in my Mesa build. This can also be applicable with Titania, as the secondary crit chance bonus from the Crimson Argent shard can be applied to the exalted pistols of both Mesa and Titania. However, it is much better for Mesa since the regulator pistols have more crit chance compared to Dexpixia. I will be updating the red crit Mesa build and let you know the result. Probably, it would take more Tau Forged I guess to finally get it into Red Crit all the time but that's not a problem since I'm in for the grind. So anyway, you can get 5 Archon Shards right now by logging into Warframe, and completing both Cal Mission and the Archon Hunt. Aside from that, we will be getting Echoes of the Veilbreaker tomorrow, and there are more rewards to claim and are coming to Warframe. The Shard Bundle bonus is coupled with the Conqueror Shoulder Ribbon and Conqueror Ephemera. You can also get the Conqueror Glyph right now by simply typing the code CONQUEROR2022. In addition to that, Digital Extremes will be giving a Stance Former, Aura Former, and Umbral Former on November 4th. Also, 3-day bonus Affinity Weekend will be back on November 18th, so get ready to level up your Warframes and weapons. I know for a veteran this is nothing, but for new players, this will be the right time to log into Warframe and get all the rewards. For long time players, go check out the Echoes of Veilbreaker update as there are a couple of surprises that I can't reveal here. And also, the Liu Asprey update has some surprises. It may not be the update we wanted for this fall, but it's sure full of surprising things that we can enjoy before Duveri Paradox hits in 2023. That's it for now and be sure to check back later as I got lots of Echoes of Veilbreaker videos. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off. <laughs>